Hello! In this video, we're going to go over some chemistry. We're going to go over reading the periodic table and understanding, you know, how to find protons, electrons, neutrons, and the atomic mass accordingly, as long as with charges too, if that's going to be considered. Um, this stuff is quite easy as long as we understand what's going on, right? Because it's there's no tricks. It's just everything you see here. So let's go for it. Let's fill out what we have here and we'll be done. First, we're going to look for PB. PB is another way to call for lead. So the first thing we're going to do is need to find PB on our periodic table. We see PB right here. And I'm going to blow it up right over here, right? So we have 82 on the top, PB, and we have 207.2 on the denominator. This number on top is called the atomic number. The atomic number is equal to the number of protons. So if I were to write out a base set, right? So this number right here is the atomic number. And the atomic number is the number of protons. This number down here is the atomic mass. And the atomic mass is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. That's what the atomic mass is equal to. Protons and neutrons added up. Electrons don't weigh anything. So they, I mean, they do, but they weigh so such a small amount. It doesn't really affect our atomic mass. So that is that. What we do know is if the charge is balanced, at, at a zero charge, the number of electrons will equal the number of protons. So let's slowly go through. We see that 207, let's do these in different colors. We see that 207 is our atomic number. So we know with what I just said that 207 is, the, is protons plus the neutrons. So what I need to do is take the atomic number I mean, mass, sorry, and subtract it by the atomic number, the number of protons, 82. So 207 minus 82 gives us 125 neutrons. 125 plus 82 gets us that 207 atomic mass. Now, our charge is plus two, which means there are two more protons than electrons. Therefore, I only have 80 electrons. That's it, because there are two more protons for a two plus charge. The atomic mass is 207. Oh, we see I made a little mistake here. That's asking for the atomic number, not the atomic mass. So I just put it in a different spot. Atomic number is 82, atomic mass 207. All right, let's just keep on going. So now we see in this next one, we only have protons given to me and atomic mass. Well. The whole thing about protons is changing the proton amount changes whatever element I have, right? If I have 82 protons, what happens when I have 83? I have this element. What happens if, oh, sorry, no, nope, that's 84. 83, I have this element. What happens if I have 81? I have this element. So changing the protons changes my element. So we can only, we can, if I have a protons of 34, I'm going to go find my atomic number of 34. And it, and it, as you can see, it adds by one going from left to right. We see selenium, selenium is our element of uh, question. So selenium has 34 protons, 34 neutrons. The atomic mass is 79. And we know 79 minus the number of protons will give us the number of neutrons. And now, since it's a balanced charge, our electrons are equal to our protons. Let's keep on going. Next, we look for the element with an atomic number of 24. 24 is right here for chromium. We see CR goes right there. We see that the atomic mass is 51.996. I'm going to round it to 52. It's basically what it is. I'm going to make this a cleaner 52. All right, and then we're going to go with the atomic, let's keep this one in red. The atomic number is 24, so my protons are 24. I have 21 electrons. That means I have three more protons than electrons. Thus, I have a plus three charge. 
And then neutrons, we know protons plus neutrons equals the mass. So mass minus protons will equal neutrons. Beautiful. Next line. This one, they're trying to trick you. We don't have a charge. We're not given anything else, pretty much. We know the number of electrons is nine. And if there's no charge, that must mean the number of protons must have also been nine. And now we know we can find the atomic mass. Nine plus 10 is 19, because we know protons plus neutrons is the atomic mass. Atomic mass. The atomic number is the number of protons. We're at nine. We go find nine and we see it's fluoride. All right, two more. Atomic number of 41. We find it right here, NB. So let's do a different color. Let's do orange, NB. Uh, we have 35 electrons, 41 protons. So we have a plus six charge, six more protons and electrons. And then we're going to take the atomic mass, subtract it from the number of protons to get our number of neutrons. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Last one, we'll call it. We are given the element this time, which is phosphorus. We have uh, uh, atomic number of 15. So we also know that we have 15 protons. This time we have a negative three charge. Therefore, there must be three more electrons than protons. So thus, if I had 15 protons, I need three more electrons, so 18. We also look at the periodic table to determine that the atomic mass is 31 after rounding. And we can see that 31 minus 15 is 16 for our last of those neutrons. So that is how we fill out that chart and fully understand everything inside the periodic table. Now there is more, we're gonna go over valence electrons and charges at another time. However, we need to start with the basics of just understanding the periodic table and finding protons, neutrons, electrons, understanding atomic mass and understanding atomic number. Not too bad, kind of fun stuff. If you have a question, please just send me an email. Always happy to do it, uh, another video. Hope you have a great day.